with U.S. soybean harvest winding down, we're going to shift our focus this week to South America, specifically looking at Brazil, where the market is on edge with some ongoing weather trends. We're also going to take a look at U.S. soybean export demand, specifically looking at the level of unshipped sales, and wrap things up with a long-term look at November soybean futures. Hi, this is Brian Bastien with Advanced Trading. Let's talk about the soybean market. We've moved into the month of November here and we're winding down harvest here in the U.S. As a result, we're going to shift our focus to South America, specifically looking at Brazil. Let's take a look at where those soybeans are produced in Brazil. Now, a lot of uh, states here in Brazil do grow beans. In the north, Mato Grosso is the number one state at about 26%. In the far south, Rio Grande do Sul at 14%. Paraná at 15%, and Minas Gerais at 5%, Bahia at 5%, Goiás 10 Mato Grosso do Sul at 8 Over 80% of the beans are, are accounted for by these states. Let's now take a look at the precip trends in Brazil for the last 30 days, more of a proxy for subsoil moisture. We're looking here at quite a divergence in Brazil. We're seeing a very wet pattern emerge in the south. Uh, very wet, as a matter of fact, and that's been a struggle with soybean planting in that region. Just the opposite in the north, too dry up in Mato Grosso and some of those northern states where they've been delaying soybean planting, awaiting moisture. So that's what's got the market on edge here. We are not making the soybean crop in early uh, November, mid-November. That's the critical month upcoming, months upcoming in December and January. But still, it's got the market on edge with supplies tight worldwide. Let's now shift our focus to weather. Let's take a look at the short-term weather trends. Our slides this week, as usual, are courtesy of T-Storm Weather. We're starting out here looking at the next five to seven days, and we're looking at a very wet pattern continuing in the south. Maybe three inches in some of those lighter pink areas. The darker areas, maybe six to eight inches in that, that region. In the north, however, very dry. So again, that pattern is continuing. And we're seeing a bit of a change in the pattern as we go into in this weekend, early next week. More of a wetter pattern up north, maybe one to two inches and in drying out in the south. Now, as we extend past Thanksgiving, November 23rd through the 27th, perhaps that original pattern resumes again with wet conditions in the south and dry in the north. So these, are what, these patterns are what has the market on edge here as we move into mid-November. Let's shift gears now and focus on export trends in the U.S., specifically looking at the unshipped sales of U.S. soybeans. Now, you can see here this is a, several, a, a four-year low in the unshipped sales of U.S. soybeans. A very uh, strong competition has been seen all throughout uh, the summer and fall from Brazil. And as we look at the, the key factor moving forward, we have to raise at least a yellow flag because the demand from China is surfacing lately. We're seeing some sales to China. However, looking at that 151 million bushels, it's still well below each of those last three years. So again, ATI research is at annual U.S. export forecast, 1.7 billion bushels, USDA is at 1.7 Five, five billion. Let's wrap things up this week looking at long-term trends in November soybean futures. Now, November beans here as we tape on Tuesday have expired. Uh, we're looking at a price well above the harvest price, near $13.70 a bushel. Harvest price was $12.84. However, we continue to strongly encourage you to work closely with your trusted risk management advisor to manage any unpriced bushels that you have for November uh, for our old crop 2023 bushels as well as managed any previously sold bushels with call options. One final highlight, look at that November 24 contract. It's over $13 a bushel now, $13.10. It's not too early to think about some initial pricing strategies for 2024 production. Now, if you'd like more information, please feel free to contact us at 800-664-2321. We'll put you in contact with one of our risk management consultants. We'll be happy to visit with you at your convenience. And remember, we upload every Wednesday. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to never miss an upload. Thanks a lot. Have a good week.